Hi and welcome to a new episode of The Opening School. For quite some time now we have analyzed the chameleon and in this week's episode we'll put an end to our analyzing of this opening. We'll do that by analyzing what would happen if black would try to play the can variation. The variation is introduced after e4, c5, knight to c3, e6, knight g to e2 and a6. This move order is quite appealing for black since if white now tries to enter an open Sicilian by playing d4, we will enter a position where the white development of the queen knight is to be recommended to be delayed in favor of the possibility to play c4. So here white is as good as forced to play g3. Black attack on the queen side by playing b5, and it's not too late for black to attack in the center with a d5, since the earlier a6 has no place at all in that variation, which would leave black a tempo behind. Black's latest move b5 is followed by bishop to g2, which is answered by black's bishop to b7. A move such as knight to f6 instead of bishop to b7 is quite bad since white then would be able to play e5, threatening both the knight on f6 and the rook on a8. Black is having a problem since it's hard for him to decide what moves to play, which would both fit the close as well as the open system. It's important for white players in this opening to know that even though g3 is played and the bishop is developed on g2, it's never too late to play d4 and open up the game. And that is exactly what white does in this position. The reason why d4 is played in this situation is that black has created a weakness in his position by playing b5 and bishop to b7, which is best exploited after just d4. And if we take a close look at the position after an exchange on d4, we see that white has managed to develop as many as three pieces, while black only managed to develop his bishop on b7. Black does here play queen to c7, and white answers by castling kingside. Black has to develop, so he does now place his queen knight on c6. Black's loss of time with his queenside preparations will do him in, something we'll soon be witnessing. Black can of course try to be more cautious, and instead of playing knight to c6, he could try playing d6. But that is not really an option either, since white then would be able to play rook to e1, and then threaten to play knight to d5. It might not be playable directly, but it's a threat which black has to consider. If black tries to block the threat by playing bishop to e7 as his ninth move, white will counter by playing a4, followed by black's b4. White moves his now threatened knight to a2, and in order for black to protect his b4 pawn, he plays a5, which opens up the b5 square for the knight. And here white has some heavy positional advantage. So let us go back and see what happens after knight to c6. Once again, white answers with rook to e1, and black's plays d6. Now white attacks the weak b5 pawn by playing a4, and in order to hinder the d4 knight to place itself on b5 again, black simply takes it. White recaptures with his queen, and black plays e5. This latest move has opened up something of a clinch in the black armor, which allows white's knight to d5, which is a very powerful white move. If black now would take the queen, white would get a fantastic position after knight takes on c7, check. King to d7, knight takes on a8, bishop takes on a8, and a takes on b5. Black has no chance at all in this position. If black instead would try to take the knight with his bishop, black would manage to keep a material equal position. But black is far behind in the positional play, and a plausible continuation from here is to take on b5, knight to e7, queen to b3, rook takes b5, queen to d3, knight to c6, and rook takes a6. Again, white has managed to take his positional advantage, and from it gained a material advantage. But with that, I'll have to thank for me, and not only end this episode of the opening school, but also end the, our analyzing of the chameleon. I will see you again next week with a new episode of The Opening School and a new opening. So see you then.